is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a brand new wwe action figure reveal to us and it is a brand new ringside exclusive that is up for pre-order right now on wrestlingfigures.com ringside collectibles you can pre-order this figure using promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but yesterday it was revealed on their instagram page that they would be unveiling a new ringside exclusive action figure a figure a a wrestler that we have never seen before from mattel and today they unveiled it guys and here it is in all of its glory we have the official ringside exclusive wwe elite walter figure with the uk championships and i don't know why i said uk championships but he is including his entrance robe so this figure looks fantastic bro oh my goodness i love the way this thing looks i like the head sculpt i like the body mold i like everything to do with this walter figure i think it's a pretty much perfect figure i know we've been seeing lots of customs we've seen lots of customs around the community we have been waiting on a walter figure i know a lot of people were actually disappointed at san diego comic-con this year or comic-con at home when we did not get a walter figure unveiled to us but now it is finally official it is up for pre-order right now so you may want to go over there right now i'm not sure how many they're going to be getting in, but I know exclusives, they usually do get a lot in there, so you should be okay, but definitely go in there and get your pre-order in using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but I love the head sculpt. I always thought that Walter looked like Gru or whatever his name was from Despicable Me and all that stuff, so this kind of, like, I can still see it here on his face here, so I think that is funny, but you know, Walter, he he doesn't have the best attire, you know, the, the, the main thing about this figure is, you, you know, you get a UK championship, which we have not seen in a little bit this is a great opportunity to get yourselves another uk championship if you guys missed out on the first couple or the first one i don't remember how many figures it's come with maybe two figures now but it does come with his entrance robe ring general entrance robe which, which looks really really good we've seen a lot of those robes before but this plays in perfectly and then you know his attire again is plain jane but i think the size of this figure the head sculpt on this figure uh the build of this figure is pretty much perfect i think this is a perfect figure head to toe and um i like everything going on with it man i cannot get wait to get him in here now i'm not sure if i would use him in mdc i'm not sure if it would call for it and everything like that i'm not going to make that assumption right now but you know you never know you never know what could take place by the time we get this and by the time we get wherever we're going who knows what the hell could take place but Walter is looking good, man. I think this is a fantastic figure, and I'm super excited for it. I know a lot of people have been waiting on it, and I know a lot of people are going to be upset because they would want this to be in the main Elite line so that, you know, we could get it, and it'd be easier to obtain. I feel like ringside exclusives are kind of hard to come by, so if you don't get your pre-order in, it's probably going to be hard to get, so I would definitely put my pre-order in if I were you because you definitely do not want to miss out on this, so definitely get that in, but not only do we have Walter in today's video, guys, we also have some other things that I want to get into, so let's go ahead and bring up some more images of the new Ultimate Edition figures. We have new images of The Rock and Charlotte, so we both have images of The Rock and Charlotte. I think both of them look really good. I would say I'm more excited for The Rock figure, but I think the Charlotte is going to be damn nice. I think that every Elite Charlotte I've ever had has been garbage, and now that we have, you guys know that I love, I literally love the Ronda Rousey Ultimate Edition. I think this is another great figure in women form, so an Ultimate Edition women's figure usually takes the cake it has a beautiful robe with it i love the head sculpts that we're getting with it the interchangeable hands and stuff like that look great i love the pink attire so this is going to be another one of my favorite women's figures and i cannot wait to replace my garbage two elites or basics charlottes that i always use in my videos so i'm very excited to get this charlotte in here and replace it and the rock of course looks good as well i love all the accessories we're getting we already knew we were going to be getting all these accessories one thing i did notice about his t-shirt is it looks like they increased the size of the brahma bull on his t-shirt am i am i tripping or is that true? I feel like that's true, but we get some great interchangeable hands here. I love the new, like, just bring it hands that we're getting with this guy. I love the glasses, WWF Championship. And the only thing I'm not really looking forward to is the articulation on this guy. I just don't see the, uh, the the torso working out great for him, but the head sculpts look absolutely beautiful. I love the, I think it's Survivor Series 2001 style attire with the red and silver. So I am hyped for the attire. I'm hyped for everything to do with this figure, maybe besides the torso, but uh, maybe I can figure out a way around that or maybe a different torso switch or something. I don't know. We'll try to figure it out the best we can, but The Rock and Charlotte both look absolutely fantastic. And then we do have some new battle packs in here to get through, which I don't know, man. I'm kind of having mixed feelings about them. We'll go ahead and get them in here, and you guys can let me know what you think about them. But 
The first one we have is Randy Orton taking on Kofi Kingston here with the WWE Championship. I'm really liking the color of this WWE Championship. It's kind of a mixture between the shiny and the dull plastic championships here. But I like this Randy Orton head sculpt. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, the, the head sculpt that we pretty much just made. The Elite 78 head sculpt with an added beard to it. So... Uh, I guess my custom or my fix-up kind of looks like garbage now, but I feel like mine may be a little bit differently, at least, at least the colors and stuff. Uh, Kofi Kingston's attire is still looking pretty plain, Jane. You get the gray knee pads on there, and the head sculpt looks good. We've already seen this head sculpt many times before, so that's not anything new. The Randy Orton attire is pretty much the same as his Elite 78 figure, so nothing too crazy there. I think the only thing that's different is the knee pads are a little different, and the RKOs and the designs on his, on his trunks do not have white in them like they did on the Elite 78. But, you know, this is a, this is a iffy battle pack here. Next up, guys, we have a Stone Cold Steve Austin and AJ Styles battle pack with the same John Brown AJ Styles head sculpt we've seen forever now. The Elite 66 AJ Styles head sculpt that we've seen forever and ever. But we do get a nicely looking... Uh, I like that Stone Cold head sculpt. You know, it's not the greatest, but I still like it. And you do have a little contract signing there, and that's pretty cool. I guess that could work for, like, some some pick-fed stuff. You know, if you're, you're doing AJ Styles versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, that little contract right there that has both of their names on it may work for a little segment or something if you wanted to do that. But uh, the head sculpt here, I think that's the basic 100 Stone Cold Steve Austin head sculpt, but it is smaller now, so it should look a lot better. Uh, I'm just thinking to myself right now as I'm looking at this photo that it looks like the Stone Cold Steve Austin has the older arm articulation, but I don't think he does. And another thing that, that, that just makes me miss the old arm articulation on basics. I really, really do miss that. But probably not the best battle pack. I might grab it at retail if I see it just for the head sculpt on Stone Cold. Maybe the contract. You know, you never know what you'll use that for. But you never know. I, I don't know. But you do have the red attire. AJ Styles really wish we could get an elite of that. But next up, guys, we do have a battle pack of John Morrison and The Miz. This is the same Miz head sculpt we've gotten. And this John Morrison head sculpt looks really, really weird. I don't know what it is. It's like the paint apps look crazy on it. Um, I think it's the eyes mainly, but it's like a true effects technology applied to an older John Morrison basic head sculpt. And I don't know. I mean, this is pretty cool. You get the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, but the head sculpts are pretty much the same. But I would understand if you guys wanted to grab that. You can get the updated Miz right there, updated John Morrison if you guys want, didn't want to wait on the Elite. But I do like the head sculpt on the Miz. It does look like it's the same head sculpt, at least colored a little bit differently compared to his Elite, whatever the hell Elite that was. But that pretty much does it for our battle packs for, uh, I think this is Battle Pack 67 is what all three of these Battle Packs are. Next up, guys, we do have some brand new basic images in here that are very, very interesting. Starting out first, guys, we do have Basic Series 112 Bobby Lashley. Now, we have the standard version. We have the chase version. I think the chase version is in the black and red, but we do have the long tights Bobby Lashley, which is pretty much updated. This I'm pretty sure he wore this attire legitimately at Payback when he won the U.S. Championship. I could be wrong about that, but it was very, very similar if not. And then you, of course, have the other attire that I was talking about with the Chase variant, which is in his black and red and white gear. I love this gear. I think he looks great in this gear with the black and red. I really like the attire. I like everything about it. Head sculpt is the exact same that we got with the Elite 69 Bobby Lashley, so you may want to skip out on it for that reason. But the next figure that we have in Basic Series 112, guys, is Seth Rollins in the Monday Night Messiah gear. So I kind of feel like they got that out pretty quickly. I guess just with quarantine and everything going on, it may just seem like it was not that long ago, but it was actually, you know, months and months and months ago, which I'm sure it was. But, you know, we do have the Monday Night Messiah gear here, and I guess it was pretty much a year ago or almost a year ago when we got this attire. So there it is with the glove and everything. It is the same exact top talents head sculpt. It's the same head sculpt we've gotten for a while now with Seth Rollins, so I am awaiting a new head sculpt, but I do like this head sculpt, and if you want an updated Rollins, here's your perfect opportunity. Um, and by the way, I think, uh, no, none of the none of these are up for pre-order just yet, but you do have new images here. Next up, guys, is Braun Strowman. Now, this one's completely skippable, I think, unless you just want to get a shirtless Braun Strowman from when he had this, but now his hair is outdated, and I don't see this figure selling very well. I mean, it may sell well at retail just because kids want a Braun Strowman figure, but for now, I'm just not seeing it. You know, you do have the shirtless here, and I guess you can't really account for him shaving his head. So, unless you want to customize this, this is completely skippable for me. Next up, we have Basic Series 112 Adam Cole. And I don't know what it is about this, but I feel like his neck, he has like no neck at all in this Adam Cole figure. He does have the Undisputed Era armband. He does have his knee pads on there. Solid looking attire, just your regular Undisputed Era attire. But this is the Epic Moments 3-pack Undisputed Era Adam Cole head sculpt we have seen in the past. So, 
nothing too out of the ordinary right there next up is Sasha Banks guys we have this Sasha Banks and I don't know what it is but this figure looks super duper cheap man like with the no nothing on the arms you have like the plain black pants and the boots with the painted on shoelaces it just looks really really cheap the head sculpt isn't bad by any means I think this is a reused head sculpt but the legit boss t-shirt looks pretty solid um it is painted on obviously but the rest of this figure just looks super cheap to me I am not a fan of this Sasha Banks figure whatsoever next up is basic series 113 John Cena and I'm not sure why they use this you can't stop me attire I'm not sure if this is from you know the Firefly Funhouse match with Bray Wyatt did it throw back to this I can't remember exactly I think it did so this may be where they're getting this from but you have the you can't stop me shirt which we did get in Elite Series 34 but he is wearing blue shorts instead and it's the same head sculpt we've gotten in the past with John Cena so nothing out of the ordinary there and you do get the uh you know the John Cena armband never give up armband which is cool to see so you do have the John Cena figure next up is a disciple Buddy Murphy basic now I do hate that we're getting the same exact Buddy Murphy head sculpt but he is in the Monday Night Messiah disciple gear so I think that's pretty cool if you guys want to update your Buddy Murphy or anything like that you could do so with this figure I am definitely a much bigger fan of his elite but this is still pretty cool to see with the disciple gear Pretty plain basic with the same head sculpt, so uh, not a must grab for me whatsoever. Next up is Drew McIntyre, and this one is still just, I don't know, I, I feel like Drew McIntyre's basic figures just look so odd with the torso they give him, and like the same, it's the same head sculpt that we've gotten forever now. I think that is the same NXT, the same, it may be a little bit different than the NXT Elite, but it is the same as the Elite 71 or Elite 70. I think it's Elite 71 Drew McIntyre, so um, not a big fan of this one. I just think his basics look weird. It looks like he has no neck there. There, so I'm not going to be getting the 113 Drew McIntyre. Next up is a great basic. I like this basic a lot, guys. We have the standard version of the Edge Basic Series 113, and this one looks great. I love the purple and black. Um, the head sculpt looks a little bit derpy. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's like the spacing or the, I think, like the eyes need to be shifted in some way. But I'm not, uh, I don't know, it's something's off about this head sculpt, but it is nice to see a new head sculpt at least, so that's pretty cool to see. Or it kind of looks like a true effects version of the ringside exclusive from way back. Not the one that we just got, but the one, the rated R with the spinner championship is kind of what it's reminding me of with the head sculpt here. It may just be in true effects. But not only that, guys, but we have a beautiful, like, 2004-2005 era edge in the chase variant with his beautiful boots and everything, and this looks great. I wish we would get this in an Elite, man. Why can't we get these attires in Elite form? The black and purple, and then the 2004-2005 Edge. I mean, geez, man, this looks beautiful. I love this attire so much. And this is around the time that I hated Edge, man. When I was when I was a kid, he always used to beat Benoit and be right there in Benoit's mouth. So that used to always piss me off. Um, but Edge, this is a beautiful looking figure. I would love to have this in Elite form. I do have my cash in Edge that has a very similar attire to this. So that is pretty cool to see this releasing in basic form. I just wish we were getting it in Elite. And then the last thing that we have, guys, is the first time in the line basic Mia Yim that we have seen forever. I feel like we saw the renders for this forever ago, but it is finally here. And it looks good. I like the head sculpt. I like the attire. I like the blue belt loop thing that we got going on. Really good Mia Yim figure right here. And I think that will fit nicely into our women's collections and stuff like that. So, and I'm actually saying, is that ankle articulation? They gave her foot They gave her foot articulation for this basic? That is out of the ordinary. And she has upper thigh cut. What is this? Is this a basic? How is this a basic? It's got upper thigh cut. It has, the, is this new basic articulation that we're getting right here? I would love to see upper thigh cut and uh, foot rotation coming back to basic figures. That would be nice. Well, they've never had upper thigh cut, but they have always had the foot articulation until they disbanded it. But this is a nice looking basic. Definitely the best basic in the line if you include all that articulation right there but I think that is all the new images that we have guys we had all the basics battle packs the ultimate editions and the ringside exclusive Walter that you can go pre-order right now at ringside collectibles but this is all the images I have for you guys today I do believe if they put up any more I will for sure be back in the day with more images for you guys to cover but that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you so very much for watching let me know what you think of all the stuff down in the comment section below do you enjoy all the basics the battle packs and the Walter um, are you uh, excited for what's to come in the future for these figures let me know down below what you are going to be grabbing and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you